Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Um, and I use the term loosely. This is Time Twister with another one of Time's Tactics. Now, I have my team from Payday once again. The, pr the Prank Man and the Spectre from my clan of the Monaco Falcons. And of course, where would we be without hardcore American badass? Say hello to the nice people, everybody. I don't want to. Yes, well. I would if there were any nice people out there to say hi to. Fantastic. Sup. <laughs> see, see, this is why I, this is why I'm here. Oh, uh, we're off to a rollicking good start. Anyway, um, uh, we're going to take this opportunity to help you with a quick little achievement in uh, Payday the Heist, namely no photos in the bank bank heist. Now. A lot of people tend to have a problem with this achievement, and a lot of people tend to think it's impossible. It is not, I assure you. The main problem that there is with this particular heist is delineation of, of assignments. What the outline of No Photos is, is that there are 12 cameras set up in the front part of the bank that you have to take out within 10 seconds of drawing your guns. If you fail to do that, you don't get the achievement. Now, of course, this would be impossible for one person, but you have four people in your team. That's three cameras apiece. If you set up with the right people and the right equipment, you basically have enough time to do it and have a little factored time in for human error. So what I'm going to do real quickly, even though these guys are probably itching to go, is I'm going to show you the four areas that you can set up in to maximize your potential to get it, get it within 10 seconds. Here we go. Now the first setup point, hardcore is already nearby. Ooh, actually, that actually reminds me, just before we continue. You see these jerks right here? Uh, they apparently have decided that they are going to be heroes with two days left of retirement. So always keep an eye out for how close you are to them. And while I'm going to be showing you a certain uh, setup for where to be, you can adjust it a little bit based on how close the given guards are to you because if you're too close to them and you stand there stationary for too long they will actually identify the weapon on you and instantaneously handcuff you this is highly inconvenient to the heist and will guarantee you don't get no photos because it starts the heist right away always keep presence of mind of where the guards are it'll also tell you whether or not you may have to cap one or two of them while you're taking out the cameras that are yours uh, assigned because when one of them shoots you your shots go wide so just something to keep in mind in addition to what we're doing okay now the first position is right here next to the globe and the cameras that the person that is here is responsible for is the one that I'm looking at right now on the second level the one here through the glass Bear in mind that the first shot you take is always going to take out the glass, but not the camera. So at the very least, even if you're dead on, you have to double tap to hit that camera. The last camera is over here. Now you may notice that the person that's here, Mr. Hardcore, does have a couple of guards to deal with. So he may have to hit a couple, but the bottom line is, this is a second thing to keep in mind when you do this achievement. You draw your pistols traditionally whenever you start a heist. To deal with guards and other things, it's usually a good idea to bring a primary that has a high magazine and high accuracy like your carbine. That way you can take a couple of shots, hit a guard, take a couple more shots at a camera, take out another guard, take a couple more shots. You have 10 seconds, so you have a little time um, envelope. Alright, that's the first position. Now the second position which Spectre is taking up should really be the person that is most comfortable with long shots your sharpshooter this person has has three line of sight shots on the three cameras in the main outer lobby that can be seen from the balcony there's usually at least one guard standing here so what I usually recommend is you take out that guard first and then hit the cameras in a sweep going from <clears throat> left to right take out the guard Take out the camera that you see right there, just to the immediate right of the statue's leg. Sweep around, take out the camera here on the second level, and then do a 180 and take out the camera behind you. That's the three that this person's responsible for. Now we come down. 
Oh, that's delightful. Here's the server room. Now, the third position is going to be over here, very close to the, uh, the bank manager's office, and we actually have a guard here too. So the person that's actually going to be here is going to be responsible for taking out the guard right outside the manager's office. The camera immediately above that person, the camera that's over here, that's to the left of that, underneath Prank Man, and then they're going to have to run down the hall and then take out the final camera that's at the end of the hall right there. Three cameras. So, guard, camera, camera, run down the hall, take out the last one. Now the last one is the trickiest one, so it really should be done by the person that's the most comfortable with shooting and scooting in an, ac in an accurate fashion. In this particular situation, you have a person that's going to be standing usually right about here, where I'm currently standing, and yes, I'm the one that's going to be taking up this particular position, and they are responsible for the one camera that's actually underneath the balcony that the person in the second position, Spectre, can't actually take out. And then running into this area where the cafeteria is, stopping about here, taking out the camera here in the cubicles, and then turning to their left and up and taking out the one on the second story. Three cameras, four people, ten seconds. Now. The last thing that's kind of key in this thing is that you want to make sure that everybody has, as I said, an accurate primary weapon. Take the second to switch to the primary weapon instead of using your pistols. You'll be much better off for it. And second of all, when you do this, um, it's usually good to have it timed, uh, and I'm sorry, not timed, to actually be talking to your other people. Um, they're communicating with me um, and being very nice and quiet right now so I can actually talk to you guys. I'm going to count it down so they can actually hear me and we're all going to start at the same time and I'm going to give them a countdown. That is very, very useful. Coordination is key in this game. Alright, we're going to give it a shot right now. Whether or not we pull it off, uh, you're not going to see if I do it because I already have the achievement. But you guys now know the positions and where to do it. Everybody ready? Check. I believe so. Let's go. All right. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Every single camera was destroyed with one second left. That is how you do no photos. Well done. Alright. This has been Times Tactics, and if you'll excuse us, Weez has got a bank to rob. See you guys later. Peace out. Time out and peace out.